If a Christian comes and tells me that Christianity is not true, then I don't believe he's a Christian. Well, even, even if I'm... Why would you claim to be a Christian and then say Christianity it's, it's is a, false? It's about belief. You know, the, the, yeah, yeah, even uh, your belief. Why would you, the, the why Bible, would you identify yourself as a Christian? The Bible says, Thomas, there's, there's a parable called Doubt in Thomas. But Thomas, his own disciple, Jesus' own disciple, did not believe he rose again. Okay, let's, let's start again. Are you a Christian or not? I'm a Christian. That's You're a Christian. Do you believe Christianity, your faith, your religion? That's my belief. Yeah, is that, is that true? It's my belief. Yeah, but is it true? I don't know if it's true, but it's my belief. Uh, on what basis? On the basis of the Jesus Christ. And the how, character of Jesus Christ. But you haven't met Jesus. Followed, how do you know? I followed, I followed Jesus Christ. On Based on the Bible, right? Based on his teachings in the New Testament. Okay. Yes. So what is Jesus' main teaching? His main teaching is, is, is very simple. Which is? is love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, honor them other part, the Ten Commandments, and, and just you, just an honorable person. The Ten Commandments are from Moses, not from Jesus. Yes, and he said, I, I am here to say the God of Moses. Right. He said that in the, in the so Testament. when Jesus was asked about the most important commandment, what did he respond? I don't know that, that, okay. that chapter. He, he basically responded that God is one. Here is where is that? Uh, it's in, um, I believe in Matthew. No, no, no. We, got, we got Google now. <laughs> yeah, go on, look it up. Yeah, what, what, Ask, what, just just Google for from? the most important commandment according to Jesus. You'll get the answer. He basically repeated the Shema of Moses. And he says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. But do you believe uh, Do you believe in God? I know you mentioned Jesus. Do you believe in God? Well, we, we believe Jesus is God. So okay. God came on earth. Yes. So where did Jesus claim to be God? In John 16, 316. Read it to me. He said, I am the truth of the way. And the, and the way. Mm, that and doesn't... Why, why, why did they kill him? No, no, wait, wait, wait. You, you are, there's too many red herrings here. I asked you a question. Is G, uh, do you believe in God? And you said Jesus is God. Yes. I asked you to show me from the Bible where he claims to be God. Go on, go on, read it. Read it. On the way, on the one, the go on, read it. At the beginning, there was me. Okay, read it to me. Where is where Jesus explicitly says that he's God? Listen, I don't know every verse in the Bible. No, no, paraphrase it to me. No problem. Go on. I'll just paraphrase it to you. Which is, which is what? In the beginning, there was one, and I was in the beginning. Sorry, in the beginning? There was, there was, there was one. There was the word, and I am the word. That's what you said. He didn't say I'm the word. He just made it up. <laughs> you, said, you told me to paraphrase. Yeah, but that when that I said paraphrase, I didn't mean you to twist it completely. I did not twist it. So okay. Why didn't you open? Why didn't you open something explicit, where Jesus Himself tells us who the true God is? If if Jesus was not God, why did they crucify Him, mocking Him, calling Him the King of the Jews? No, no, wait, why wait. Why was wait. He crucified? I'm a, if, you're if, giving me questions. I'm giving you questions. Yeah, sure, sure. But you need to answer my question before you ask the next one. I said you. Okay. In John 3:16, it just says that He's a Son. It doesn't say He's God. <laughs> if he was not God, no other prophets were crucified. No other no, prophets were Loads of prophets were killed. What are you on about? Who, 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 what prophets were crucified? In fact, even the apostles saying, were killed. No, All the apostles what, were killed. Are they God? What prophet was crucified for saying that he was God? For crucified? No, no, wait, wait. First and foremost, you just made you just made a categorical error that he was actually crucified for being for calling himself a God. Yes, he was. Show me that evidence in the Bible. He, he, was, he, he, was, he was on the trial. Okay. No, no, you're making trial. too many assumptions. Show me with evidence from the Bible. He was on the trial. I'm not a Bible. Uh, a you don't need to be. You need to yeah, just paraphrase I, it to me. Yes, and I'm paraphrasing. It. Yeah, go on. Show me. Paraphrase, paraphrase something that Jesus said that. Or, or somebody said that Jesus was killed because he was claiming to be God. Because he was taken to trial. He was trialed yeah. by the, on the Pontius Pilate. Yeah. The, what was the religion of Pontius Pilate? He was a Roman. He was a Roman. He was a pagan, right? Yeah, whatever. So he doesn't but, care. But, 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 but Jesus lived under Jewish law, and it was the Jewish people that took him to the courts because under their law, blasphemy, claiming that you were God. Which was, which court did they take him to? They took him to the Roman court. A pagan court. Do you think the pagans really care whether he calls yeah, himself why, a god or not? That's why they didn't, they no, didn't care you, I think what you need to do is now listen. I heard you. You need to be patient and listen to me. Listen. Okay. As far as the Romans were concerned, they don't care whether he believed in God or he called himself a god or not. So you're doing it again. You're not letting me finish. I'll let you finish. Here, here. Try to listen before you start googling, because I know you need to pay attention. For you. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. I'm, listening. I'm going to ask you a question after this. Yeah. Let's see if you're listening. So the question well, is. You have to answer my questions. As well. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The pagans don't care whether Jesus claimed to be God or not. They, were, they actually cared about whether Jesus, which people were saying that he is the king of the Jews. So now there's a conflict with Caesar. Caesar is supposed to be the ruler of that area in Galilee and so on, where Jesus was actually preaching. 
Yes. So this is what they were concerned about, that he is actually trying to have some sort of authority in line or co-equal with, uh, with Caesar because he's claiming to be the king of the Jews. Whereas the only king over that time that the Romans recognized was a Caesar. Now, let me finish. I haven't finished yet. Okay. So if you read historians like Bart Ehrman, Dr. Bart Ehrman, who's actually an expert yes, know, in the New Testament yes. and the history of that, yeah. he actually explains this quite well, saying that he doesn't care, sorry, the Romans did not care whether what, about the theological differences between Jesus and the Jews. What he cared, what the Romans cared is whether the authority of Caesar was something that was challenged. And this is the reason that they finally agreed to crucify him. Can now, I, wait, wait, I haven't I finished. Said, I haven't finished yet. Wait, what you need to show, what you need to show me is, from the Bible, show me anyone who says the reason he was crucified was because he claimed to be God. Until you do that, what you're saying is just a claim. Yeah, he doesn't believe in the Quran, brother. Allah is said in the Prophet, you to the people that is on Yawm al Qiyamah when Allah will ask when Allah will ask Isa alayhi salam yeah I'll give you the evidence no no give me from the Bible this is from the Bible bro. okay go on this is from the Bible yeah go on according to the Gospels the Sanhedrin the Jewish court the Sanhedrin you heard of that isn't it yeah yeah the Sanhedrin not the Romans the Sanhedrin of the elite council of priestly lay elders they arrested Jesus. It was the, the, the Sanhedrin that arrested Jesus because he was a Jewish teacher. Jesus was a Jewish teacher. And under Jewish law, saying that you are God is blasphemy. And that's, but where did he claim to be God? That's the question. He, 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 this is why where? they killed him. You, you brought up Sanhedrin. Yes, where, the in the, Sanhedrin where in the Sanhedrin did he claim he that he was God? He said the Romans and all that. No, oh, yeah. no but the, the Sanhedrin did not have the jurisdiction to put someone to death they by crucifixion. That's the reason they take him to Pontius Pilate. You said it yourself. They dragged him before the pilot. Exactly. Tried him for blasphemy. Before Pilate. What Pilate was, was the one who had the jurisdiction to put him to crucifixion. What was his blasphemy then? Who, who's Jesus, blasphemy? Jesus' blasphemy. Who said he had blasphemy? That's what they said. Okay, they so you blasphemy. should know, right? You're the one making the claim. And his blasphemy was his claiming to be God. Where, they where in the Bible? Saying, I am the king of the Jews. Yeah, they put that sign as a yes. mockery. Yes, they mocked him. They mocked him. It they wasn't Jesus' claim. It was a mockery yes. by, by, the, by the Jewish they, why, people. Why did they kill him? Why did they arrest him? I just told you. Well, you're not yeah, listening but because yeah. you were Googling. No, Remember, I said I'm going to ask you a question. Why? The Sanhedrin arrest, arrest Jesus? Okay, the Sanhedrin, first yes. and foremost. Not the Romans. It the wasn't Sanhedrin. just, wait, wait. The Sanhedrin was also the, the Jewish Pharisees. Yeah, he, they was, were Jewish. He, he was, Jesus was challenging them all the time. Because yes. what they used to do is they used to actually twist the, uh, sorry, the, the Torah and the teachings of the Torah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus used to correct them all the time mm -hmm. because he knew the Torah himself. Yeah. Yes, the knowledge of the Torah was given to him, which yeah. is in the Quran, Allah says very clearly. Of the, of, of the Injil and the Torah, the knowledge of these two was given to, uh, to Isa alayhi yeah. Now, they obviously did not write, like being corrected all the time. Obviously, they are Pharisees. They're supposed to be, uh, be the people who are most knowledgeable. So because of this, they brought him to the court. Yes, sort of a kangaroo court. Kangaroo court and they, and they, uh, they, they said, okay, this guy is guilty. And then they, they had to take him to Pontius Pilate because he had the jurisdiction to put people to death. Do you understand? Oh, blasphemy, though. Well, that, that was, is that is a claim of the Jews, but not point, their, but not point is Pilate. The reason point is Pilate said, "I'm going to wash my hands of this." Remember? Yeah. Said, During, yeah. yeah. He, why? Why do you think he did that? Because he, said, because he himself he knew. He himself knew that this allegation that the Pharisees are putting against Jesus is unfounded. So he's saying, "Look, I've got nothing to do with this." Yes. But ultimately, he does send him for crucifixion because of a challenge to a Caesar, as Dr. Bart Ehrman explains. Okay. Now, now you said Jesus was God, yes? That's what you, wait, wait, what you showed me, what you showed me was the Sanhedrin's claim, not Jesus' claim. Show me Jesus claiming that he's God. I said in, in 316. In 316, know, there's no mention of God. Wait, you said you have Google, so open it. You said you have Google, you Google the Sanhedrin, bring up John 316, let's read it. Okay, but my question to you is, you do dawah to me. You're saying that... <laughs> Saying, I'm doing dawah uh, to you. Dawah, first, first I need to destroy me. the uh, okay. the tagut that you believe Let's in, the falsehood. Like said, then I'll give you the. destroyed me. Yeah. Tell me how Islam is right. No, first Islam show me. Right. First read John 3:16 because you're the one saying Jesus claimed to be God based on that, based on that particular passage. But tell me, but you don't even know even what John 3:16 says. Even if you're right, yeah. What makes you right about your Quran? That's what I want to know. Okay. First and foremost, yes. the Quran yes. teaches tawhid. 
You know what Tawheed is? Okay, Tawheed is the belief in the, uh, in the oneness of God. That means God who is only one, he's indivisible, he's someone who is omniscient, yes, he's uh, someone who is omnipotent, and he is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anyone, he doesn't have children, he doesn't have parents, this is God Almighty. Now, in Surah Al-Ikhlas, which is the 112th chapter of the Quran, Allah says, Qul Allahu Ahad, that means he, Allah is one, he's a samad, he's someone who's independent, eternal, and he's without any needs, self-sufficient. Yes, Lam Yalit Walam Yulat. He neither begets nor is he begotten. Yes, no children and he has no parents. He is self sufficient. Walam Yakul Lahu Kufuwanahak. Yes, there is none like unto him. He is unique in every way, shape, or form. Now, Allah says in the Quran also elsewhere that Laysa Kamethli Ishayan. There is nothing like unto him. So when, when people start saying that Jesus is God, Jesus is a human being. Yes, he is like. Not only, sorry, he's not only a human being, but he's someone who is weak human being. Because ultimately, based on your Bible, he was crucified by his own enemies. Yes, God cannot be killed. So the message of the Quran, where, where it says that God is uh, Al-Hayy, yes, he's ever living. Shall we have time and things? Because I'm not being rude, brother. You're, you're talking a long time. I'm listening to you. But I'll oh, if you want, if you want. response part. Yeah, go on, go on. Okay, okay which part are you going to respond to? Go on. Now. I'll give you time, go on. All right. So I'll, I'll give myself maybe two minutes, yeah? Forget time, we can have a proper conversation no, without, proper without the need I to. It so far, yeah. yeah, go on. So, right. let from, me ask you a question. No, no, based on what I said, yeah, can you, question yeah, ask a question based on that. Yeah, There's a loaded question based on what you said on be, what, God being one, yeah. and he can't be more than one, yeah. and Jesus was a man. Okay. Do you believe in Moses? Okay. Yeah. And in, in Islamic tradition, how did Moses appear to God first? Sorry, how did? How did because in our Bible... How did who appear to Moses? Moses. No, how did God appear to Moses? How did first? God appear to Moses? In the Quran yeah. or in the Bible? In, in the Quran tradition. I know the Bible tradition. Yeah. I know the biblical tradition. Allah did not appear to anyone. So how did Joseph, Moses communicate with, with God? With God? Yeah. Through, an, through an angel. How, how did he get the Ten Commandments? Communicate through an angel. Yeah. Because we believe that God appeared in the That's burning. why I asked you, based on the Quran or your Bible? Yes. yes? We, appeared, we believe he came in a, in a burning bush. He, he who God came yes. in a burning bush? Yes. Wow. Yes, that's so God saying. is fire? Yes. Yes. I thought the devil was connected with the fire, not God. No, God became God became a burning bush. Yes. God became a burning yes. bush. Wow. Yes. That's, what, that's, that's a new one. Yes, it changes nature. That's what we believe. But Bible that's says God doesn't change his nature. Not in not, in, not, not anywhere in the Bible. Malachi three six. Open it and read. The Bible's got, con the Bible's got contradictions. Everywhere. It's, got it's got a lot of contradictions. <laughs> yeah. So that was my point, but. I didn't, I didn't know the, the, the Islamic tradition of Moses, so I didn't know. Bro, I'm telling you, your own Bible says God doesn't change nature. The Bible contradicts itself a lot, a lot of ways. So your means, Bible is contradictions? There, is, there are contradictions in the Bible. Why would you, why would you believe something that has contradictions is from God? I believe in Jesus. I, I, what, no, but, listen, but you keep saying Jesus. Listen, listen, Jesus never claimed to be brother, God, but yet you say... I'm not dogmatic, okay? Dogmatic what do you mean dogmatic? Means we don't believe literally. For example, in Genesis, uh, the first... The first chapter, first line of Genesis, yeah. say on water only, God on water, and then on the second day he made the sky, on the third day he made the land, on the fourth day he made the, he made the stars. You know, it's, it's all over the place. So Genesis is obviously metaphorical. Okay. There's a lot of metaphoric stuff metaphoric. in in all the books of the Bible. I don't exactly. deny that. Yes. However, you should at least know who is God, right? Yes. I that is Jesus. that is a That's basic that. information that. Any religion should have. And our belief, because you have to understand. You keep saying Jesus is God, yes, yet until now you haven't shown me a single Brother, passage. Where you, no, but wait, but your belief should be based on something, right? Yes, it's based is it based on, on the Bible? On then show me from the Bible then. Based on the New Testament. It's based on the prophecies from the Old Testament. Okay. Saying that show me anything from the Old or the New Testament which claims that Jesus is God. Gone. It, it said that Jesus will come and he came for us, for our sins, for us. You're still not answering my question. I've answered the question. No, you yes, haven't. I've I asked you to show me a single passage. I where Jesus you. claims that he's God. I Single prove, passage. I'm not proof to you that. I don't know the Bible from, from start to finish, but I believe Jesus. Have you read the Bible at all? Of course. I went to okay, Bible so give me something. You don't have to give me the exact chapter and verse. Give me, paraphrase it for me. Which, in which Jesus explicitly claims that he's God. Paraphrase it to me. Go on. I said three, oh, he's gone back to Google now. I have to go back to Google. <laughs> go on. Yeah. Keep Googling until the end of time if you want. <laughs> No, but I asked you for Dawa, <laughs> brother. So even if you, even if, even if, even if you prove me wrong, prove me right, prove me about Islam. I was before you. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> excuse me. Before you interrupted me, you said you have something to ask me after I told you about the Tawheed. I told you about Surah Al-Ikhlas. You had no question about that at all. And then you I went on a completely different I tangent. I don't understand all that Surah stuff. I don't understand. But I spoke to you in English, not in Arabic. I don't, I don't, you said Surah X, Y, Z. I did not understand it. I don't no, no. I gave you the explanation of each ayat of the Surah. But obviously you were not listening, were you? I was listening, bro. Okay, uh, what did I say about Surah Ikhlas? I don't remember. You said, you said a lot of things. So you couldn't remember? I don't remember. Really, really so said. how will you ask me questions based on what I say? I'm you said to tell you about Islam. Yes, tell me. I gave you only one... You, you I gave you only one ayah, you sorry, one, uh, ayah. one one chapter, which yes. is only a small chapter. Yeah, but I can't memorize it. You, know, you don't have to memorize it. Okay, but you should listen. You know, the reason God has given us two ears and one mouth is so you, you need to at least understand what I'm saying. I want to understand because I see. Listen, you, what you have to do. I'm not trying to be arrogant to you. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to speak to you from the heart. Yeah. You have to understand, people have belief systems, yeah? I know that. People have their own belief systems where they believe, like for example, as a Christian, I believe that Jesus came down to earth, I was God, on earth, for us, okay? That's my belief system. Now you can say, oh, where did it say this, where did it say that? We interpret 316 as him saying, I am God. I am. 316 is nothing about God. I am. He says, I am. He He's not in John 3.16. You got it completely one, wrong. One of these verses, he says, I am. Yeah, but even I am doesn't mean God. What does that mean? What does the I am mean? You tell me, you because Paul, there was a beggar in the in the Bible who says I am. There's Paul who says I am. Are you saying Paul and the beggar are also God? I am the way, the truth, and the light. There is no way through the Father unless it's through me. Ah, exactly. So he was the way to whom? To the Father. Exactly. Yes. He was not the destination. Yeah, I mean, Who's the... Who? No, no, wait. Oh, come that's, on. That's, what that's trinity. trinity. Where's the Holy Ghost in that? The Holy Spirit. Yeah, where is it? That's Holy Spirit. Where's the Holy Spirit in what you just said? I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. Where's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is within all of us. It's within all, all of Christian, all of mankind. That's all of mankind has the yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. Did Judas have the Holy Spirit? Yes. So how did he yes. betray Jesus? Because Jesus died for our sins. That wasn't my question. No, 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 I'll answer your question. Bro. It's like it's like me asking you, where do you live? And you say the sun is uh, shining on me. No, you know, like completely off tangent. No, it's not okay, tangent. so once again, if Judas had yeah. the Holy Spirit, why did he betray Jesus? Because because he was he was a bad person, isn't it? He, do bad people have the Holy Spirit? No, because they don't believe in God. You just told me all humanity has Holy Spirit. You will now you're backtracking. Spirit. Yeah, if you're a Christian, and then you become. You oh, become so only if you're a Christian. Yes. If you okay. By the way, you know the term Christian. What, did Jesus ever use that for his religion? Jesus was the Christ. The Christ, Christ means the Messiah. Yeah. So we fo were followers of. Did the any of his apostles use that term? Christian. Christianity is we are followers of the Christ. Yeah, but the Jesus, term the Christianity Christ, is not in the Bible. Yeah, Christ is is the title. Okay. Yeah. We are Christians because we follow what we believe as the Christ. Okay. So Jesus was the Christ. Jesus wasn't called Jesus Christ. The surname wasn't Christ. Yeah. He was the Christ. By the way, do you know that Muslims believe that Jesus is Christ? Thank you. Are you aware of that? Yeah, you, I've, said, I've heard that many times. Yeah. Do you know we believe that Jesus uh, was born miraculously without a biological father? Uh, yeah, I yes? understand. Do you know that we also believe that Jesus will come in the second coming? Okay. Okay? So we believe, we love and respect and revere Jesus. Do you know, that, do you know which book from the Quran and the Bible says that Jesus became a curse? Became a curse? Yes. Where? In the Bible. Where? Where? Galatians 3.13. Became, Jesus became a curse. Yes. And what's that got to do with the Quran? Go and Google it. It's, no, no, I'm saying the Quran says Jesus is blessed. In the Bible, he says he became a curse. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, he was killed. Which one do you believe he, now? He Which? was brutally killed and Christians were persecuted. No, but do you actually believe that Jesus became a curse? Christians were persecuted. I'm not asking about Christians, I'm asking Jesus. So, so there is relevance to that statement. What's your name, by the way? My name is Richard. Richard? Richard yes. Okay, Richard, do you actually believe Jesus became a curse? There's relevance to that story. If the way you look no, at but did he become a curse? Let's let's agree with that before we find out what the reason it, what why. What does the words actually say? Go on. So Galatians 3.13. Jesus became a curse. By redeeming your sins or something like that. Look, this is what it says, yeah? Yeah, go on. This is BibleSociety.org. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. By becoming? Being made a curse for us. Yes. Basically what it's saying there, he died for us. That's all it's saying. No, he says it became a curse for you. Cursed is everyone that had it off on a tree. Yes. Look, that's the, so why was he cursed according to Paul? Do you know? Because he was hung on a cross, that's what I'm saying. which that's is made of wood, that's cross, which is tree kind of, yeah? Yeah. So Paul in your Bible is saying that Jesus became a curse 
by taking the sins upon himself, by taking your sins upon himself. But ultimately, he became a curse. Brother, you know in the Quran, you have, you have your God became a curse. Okay, Can you just answer, imagine let that? Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer what you just said. Yeah. In your Quran, you have um, is it called Tafsir? Tafsir. Tafsir. Where you, yeah. where you, exegesis. Yeah. Where, where, where people, scholars, they, they explain the. Yeah. the exegesis. The yeah. This is the Christian version. Yeah. This is the commentary. Yeah. Go on. All right. You're going to read that. Yes, I'm going to read it. Go on, read it. Before, yeah. You still became a curse. Doesn't matter how you see it. Bought a curse, but the Christian is delivered from that curse. How? Christ has taken it upon himself. The crucifixion brought him under the curse of the law. At the same time, it, it abolished the dominion of the law and threw upon messiah, messianic blessedness to Gentiles as well as Jews. In other words, to all that gave their addition to the Messiah by yeah. faith. So by him dying, yes, he was cursed because he died. But your God is cursed. He was cursed. Yes. Who cursed him? He was cursed. No, no, who cursed him? For our sins. He was yeah, but who us. cursed him? He cursed you know, in the himself. Quran, in the Quran, he who's cursed? cursed? Do you know who's cursed in the Quran? Well, that's different meaning. I don't know. No, no, I'm asking you. Yes. In the Quran, Jesus is blessed yeah. and the shaitan is cursed. Who created shaitan? Wait, wait, before you go to another tangent, let's deal with this. So wait, wait. Now, in the Quran, in the Quran, Jesus and Mary are given utmost respect. Yes. In fact, there is an entire chapter which is named after his mother Mary, called Surah Al Maryam. There's, there's wait, 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 wait a minute, Richard. I let you speak. Now hear me. In the Quran, the Shaitan is cursed. Yes. So Allah is the one who is the Lord of the. Uh, uh, sorry, is Rabbul Samawati wal Ard. He's the Lord of the heavens and the earth. In the Bible, do you know who is the Lord of the earth? Shaitan. Shaitan. First Corinthians chapter four. Verse number four. So he's, he's not Jesus is cursed. The shaitan is the lord of the world. Yes. In the Quran is the complete opposite. Jesus is blessed and shaitan is cursed. And Allah is the lord of the world. First Corinthians. Uh, four, four. Is it Colossians or Corinthians? Corinthians, or Corinthians? I think Colossians maybe. Sorry, Corinthians. Corinthians here. Yeah. I'll just confirm it here. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to get the commentary of it, okay? No problem. So this is what you said. So, so then men ought to regard us as servants of Christ and those entrusted with the secrets. Sorry, it's two, 2 Corinthians, my, my two bad. Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. So Jesus is condemned as a curse in Galatians 3.13. No. And Satan is the Lord of the world in 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. 4, read 4. it, read it, yeah. In the Quran, the shaitan, the shaitan is cursed in chapter 38, verse 78. Jesus is blessed in chapter 19, Surah Al Maryam 31, verse number uh, 31. And Allah is the Lord of the world, one, verse the number two. Verse, I can't find it. 2 Corinthians 4 4. 44. Not 44, chapter 4, verse number 4. You see, you said this is my belief, this is my faith. Your faith is based on this Bible. The Bible which says Jesus is cursed. Yes, by taking your sins, he became a curse. And because in the Old Testament it says anyone who hangs from a tree, he's cursed. Yes? Now why would God why, why would no no why are you looking for that? I'm just explaining. To, yeah, yeah. Find find two Corinthians 4 4. So I'm just explaining to you. Uh, you can't find it. You don't have a Bible. Uh, what kind of a Christian are you? Find that on your, on your phone. I found it already. It says here, it say? 2 Corinthians 4, 4, can Satan I, I is the Lord of the world. Can I read it? Uh, I've just written in my notes just that bit. No, but if you want... Read, I want to read the whole, whole, why, whole of it. Why, why can't I you Google it? I, I, I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. It can't, doesn't even know how to Google, this guy. All right. Look here. Very simple. 2 Corinthians... Wait. Can you do the same typing as you? I don't have time typing it. 2 Corinthians 4. Alright, I'll just bring that up. It goes to Bible Gateway. Are you okay with NIV? New International Version? 2 Corinthians 4. Yeah. Okay, maybe. So, present weakness and resurrection, yeah? This is 2 4. 2 Corinthians 4. Yeah. Here it is. The God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel 
that displays the glory of Christ, mm. the God of the of this age. Mm. Yes, who is that? It's a small g. Yeah, so. Yes, this in context is actually the devil, the same. So you're breaking up your context from that. Well, wait a minute, did you not read no, that? When, when you just read, when you just, just so you think the context is not important? No, that so who is that God then? That, you tell me. That would have said Satan. If it was, if no, it no, was wait a minute. Satan, you said you have exegesis. Go on, open it. <laughs> and you'll find out you that said, it is Satan. You said, the God, you said the Bible said Satan. The Bible did not say Satan. You said the God. Well, of the, age. It, it, it's mind. talking about the Satan in the previous yeah. uh, the, the verses over there. So this it says the God of this world. Why would God call, 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 call Satan? The God of this age has blinded the what? minds of the unbelievers. Tell me which God blinds what? the what? wait, wait. Which God, according to you, blinds what? the minds of the unbelievers? Why? Why would God, other than the Satan. Why would God call Satan God? You Sorry? Know, would, yeah, you tell me why. Why would your Bible call God that, Satan? Those, There's another those, problem you have. It doesn't does call it there. You're making up your own, your own interpretation. But you said you have exegesis, so open it and read it. Well, I do, I, this is the first time I've seen this. Ah, I'm first not surprised. Trust me, when I speak to Christians, you're not the only one the who says this is the first time I've seen a particular verse. Yeah. So, I've already shown you that, the, that Jesus is the one who's cursed. I've shown you where the Satan is. No, no, I disagree with that statement. No, no, you haven't looked at the context. I'm looking at uh, uh, someone else. So find out who that God is then. Go on. Because, God would not because you're saying I'm wrong, so I'm assuming not, you should at least know. The Bible does not call God Satan a God. Satan is not a God. You know, the Bible God. called humans God. Do you know Satan that? Is not called God. <laughs> humans are called God. The Jewish people, in Psalm, 20, uh, Psalm 80 to 6, which Jesus comes, confirms in John 10, 34, that ye are called gods, the sons of the Most High. So don't tell me in your Bible it doesn't talk. Call, the Bible doesn't call God Satan. God. Satan. He does. This is, this is Satan. If you don't believe me, open your exegesis, do your research and then come to me. But right now you're just denying something you have no knowledge of. No, you made your own interpretation of that. Though. I'm not going to give you that. Don't give me that. Go home. No, no, before you deny it, go home, research it. And if you're wrong, come back, Hashim. Come back and you tell me. Okay, right, I, I, but every I agree with your first comments about um, the first Jesus is cursed. Straight. That curse one, yeah. yeah. But I interpret that as different. I interpret curses. Jesus' mission was a curse mission. Yes, he was a kamikaze to come on earth to die for our sins. No, no, wait, that wait, wait. Good. You added the word mission is cursed. It says the one who hangs on the tree is cursed. Yes, but I added, I added my. Interpret. Who told you to add your own words you added, in the Bible? You added to Satan. To no, I didn't. I said, I'm saying the context says that. And my context is that Jesus was cursed because he was born to die for our sins. That's he was, was born to die for yes. your sins. Yes. yes. So and let me ask you this: You're telling me a God is born yes. and a God dies as well. Yes. Which God? Which God dies? Jesus Christ. Okay, so Jesus, Jesus himself. Sorry, in the Bible it says God is immortal. Yes, and he, that's why he defeated death. Do you know what immortal means? It means that you cannot die, and Jesus defeated that. No, no, wait a minute. There's a difference between defeating death and not dying at all. No, Wh which one? Which died. one is immortal? He died and rose again. Okay, does God die? Yes, no. Jesus died and he rose again. I don't know where this Christian comes from, honestly. No, that's, that's your belief. Uh, it's not my belief, it's in the Bible. God is immortal. God is immortal, yes. So what, you just said you define immortal as someone who doesn't die. And yes. now you're saying he died, but he rose again. Yes, because he defeated death. Okay, let me ask you this. Who, who, who bro, 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 wait a minute. Let me, let me ask you this, Richard. Let me ask you this. Immortal is, immortal is someone who, who doesn't die and who doesn't need to be resurrected. In the case of Jesus, he not only died, but was also resurrected. So how is he immortal? He's immortal because he's, he, he cannot die. He cannot kill him. So, so who died on the cross then? Jesus died and rose again. So once again, you're saying he can die. Yeah, but then he's immortal. Then he's but immortal. make up your mind. Did he die or not? Yes, he died. And so if again. somebody dies, yes. is he considered immortal? If he rose again, he is. Okay, you will rise one day. You know, God will resurrect you and me. Does that mean you're immortal? Not everyone's going to rise again, bro. Everyone's going to rise again. Because they will have to face... They some will have to face the day of judgment. Some people are damned. No, no, no. Everyone, everyone will rise. They, they'll be judged because without the day of judgment, the whole idea is preparing us for the day of judgment. Again, you have to respect the beliefs, okay? And you have to respect your Bible, which says God is immortal. Listen, even my, I don't respect the whole of the Bible because the Bible's got so many bad things in it. So, I, so why believe in it then? Why believe in a, in a Bible? I believe in Jesus Christ. No, but you're you're an antichrist by refusing Jesus Christ as teaching. You know what? You know what, Jesus, brother? Wait a minute. You know what Jesus thought about the only true God? Do you know that? What did he say? Go read John seventeen three. 
He says, this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God. So Jesus himself is claiming that the only true God is the Father, not Jesus. He says, and Jesus Christ whom he, have, whom he sent. Keep Googling, boy. Keep Googling. John 17. John, John yeah, John 17, I respect 3. Your, your biblical knowledge. I'll give you that passion. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. No, I'll give you that respect. The whole idea is to... Because you are teaching me. He says... Listen, bro, I'm not here to argue with people. I'm you can help him out, bro. I'm here to talk to, to Hashim. Okay? Jesus is God. Because he's going to say Jesus is God, isn't he? He says Jesus is God, but he also says that... Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, I know. That's, that's your opinion, bro. However, okay. That's your so opinion. open John 17, 3. Read it. This is a new yeah. Everything is new for you. <laughs> Which church? Do you go to church? Now, this is eternal life, and they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ. Yes, whom you have sent. Have sent. Yeah. So, who is the you then? Read it again. God sent him, yeah. No, no. God no, no wait. wait, wait, wait. God wait, wait. Before you go to Triune, I He's want you to know when he says, this is eternal life that they may know you. Yes. Who is the you there? You is God in earth. Or God in heaven, sorry. No, no. When you say God means which one? The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Which one? Father. Father, Father, Father. good. Yes. Okay. So, Jesus is acknowledging yes. and testifying yes. that the only true God is who? Is God, yes. yes. No, is the Father. The Father. Yes. Good. And so, he, he wait a wait a And Jesus Christ, whom he sent. Yes. So, Jesus is acknowledging... Okay, please. What Allah, sorry, what Jesus is saying there is that the only true God is the Father, yes, yes? and Jesus Christ, yes, and the whom only you send. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know you'll jump to another another passage. Let's deal with one passage at a time. So when Jesus Himself is saying that the only true God is the Father, and you're saying the only true God is Jesus, whom do I believe, Jesus or you? I've not said just Jesus. How many gods have you got? It's, it, is, it is a trinity. Okay. Where is that in the Bible? Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Okay. It is a triune. It's a trinity. Do you think they're co-equal? Yes. Yes. So why does Jesus only acknowledge the Father as the true God? Because the only true God. Because that's that, that. Because his his mission on earth was to be like man, was to be a man, and to show us how to act as men. Very good. Okay? So he was a perfect role model for man, right? Yes, he was. He was okay. a role so if Jesus is a perfect role model of man, wait, 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 wait. If Jesus is a perfect role model for humans, yes, and for mankind, whom does he acknowledge as the only true God? God. This perfect role yes. model? Yes. The Father, right? Yes. Not the Trinity. Yes. Not the, not the Trinity, like the way you do. No, and that's the reason I said you're an antichrist. You're going against the teaching you're of Jesus Christ. Me. You're laboring me, and I don't appreciate it. But no, no, but you know what antichrist means? Someone who opposes Christ. I don't oppose Christ. Well, you are. Christ because does. Jesus says the only true God is the Father. You're saying is the Trinity. Now, obviously, there's a difference between a Unitarian and a Trinitarian. Jesus was a Unitarian. That means he worshipped one true God, the only true God, who according to him is one person. Not three persons like the way you do. Well, so I'm, you, I'm by... No, by that... Yeah, exactly. By I'm that a, definition, by that definition, yes. you are not a Unitarian, but a Trinitarian. Yeah, I am. I now, who, that statement. Now, yes. now, Jesus, who is a perfect role model for mankind, yes. like you said, is he a Unitarian? Yes, in my, in my opinion. Alhamdulillah. You see, yeah. that should settle it then. Yeah. Jesus is Unitarian, you are a Trinitarian. Why should I believe you? Yeah? So the person who was studying all along, I believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus as God, himself testifies that he's a Unitarian. Said that, but how does the Quran be, how does the Quran true? I know you won't come to Quran. Yeah, you see, you see in the Quran, in the Quran, Allah is Unitarian. In the belief of Jesus, God is Unitarian. In the belief of Moses, God is Unitarian. In the belief of uh, Abraham, God is Unitarian. In fact, all the prophets of the Bible and the Quran, all of them agree unanimously, yes, unequivocally, that God Almighty is Unitarian. What? But you, you two, wait, wait, what? what you do is, you know the guy who was saying, I follow Jesus? In fact, you follow the church, my friend. With all due respect, you follow the church, you thought you about the Trinity, without you reading the Bible, because you have to Google every time I showed you a passage, clear passages, and you go against it. Clear passage from Jesus Christ, you go against it. Why would I not call you an antichrist who opposes my Messiah? Yes, the, the prophet and the messenger that I believe as Jesus Christ, 
was a Unitarian. He wasn't. He wasn't someone who followed the church. You know the Jewish the Jewish law. As a Trinitarian. The Jewish law, the Tanakh, is simply the Old Testament. Yeah. What about it? So it's it's, it's almost one hundred percent the same as the biblical. Oh, the, the only reason that they where in the Tanakh is a Trinity? Nowhere. No, okay. Um, <laughs> Nowhere. Can we move past Trinity, please. Yeah. Why? Why? That. Why? That because is that's, why because that is difficult for you. Yeah, it's difficult. You know when Jesus was asked about the most important commandment, yes. he he actually explicitly uh, a specific question. He was asked by a rabbi, a Jewish rabbi, asked him, what is the most important commandment? And Jesus actually repeats the Shema that Moses said in Mark 12, 29. Read it if you want. I want to stick to stick. No, no, wait a minute. You need to understand when Jesus is saying the most important commandment is the belief in a Unitarian, in, in the one God, yes, which he confirms in John 17, 3, then you are only an antichrist if you oppose his teaching. Because in John in John 14 it says, if you love me, follow you'll Jesus. follow my teachings. I follow Brother Hashim. Jesus said that. Brother Hashim, yeah. I follow Jesus, but I cannot. So why are you a Trinitarian if you follow Jesus? Because why are you not a Unitarian Father, like Jesus? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's, what That's what not in the Bible. Well, That's not in that, the Bible. You have to the Trinity okay. is not taught by any prophet, any messenger, even Jesus Christ, his apostles, no one ever advocated a trinity. Well, Only the church does in the fourth century. Well, I, I'm still a Trinitarian. Bro. Of course you are. You're an antichrist. That's why I tell you. I don't like that word. That's fine. Yeah. You are in denial. That's all you are, my friend. Yes? Whether you like that label or not, by, by, by what you just told me, you're going against Jesus. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my teachings. You say that are you keeping his teachings? No. No, you're not. Jesus is teaching Unitarianism, you are a Trinitarian. You say God does not take forms in the Old Testament, which the Jews also believe, the Jewish people. Believe what do they believe? About Old Testament. Yeah, what about it? What about, what about the Old Testament? They believe that, jo that Moses came in the burning bush as well. That's what the Jews believe. No, they don't believe jo God literally was in the burning bush. In fact, we have this ayah in the Quran as well. There's a conversation yes? with God in the bush. When, when, even, even Moses was meditating by himself yeah. and in a bush caught fire and said, I am God. And then he became Let me ask you against. something. Let me ask you something. That's, that is have, you, have you ever had a conversation with your mother on the phone? Oh, yes. Yes. When your mom calls you and she says to you, "Yes, that I am your mother." Yes. Is your mother in the phone? No, I was not in the phone. So, so why? Wait, 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 wait a minute, Richard. Richard. Exactly. Yes. So, so, so why? why if, if your mother is able to communicate with you yes. on the phone without being in the phone, yes. why do you think God is unable to communicate with Moses without being inside the burning bush? So, but it came, the voice came through the bush. Yeah, right? just like your mother's voice comes from the phone. Okay, that's, 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 you know what I mean? that's, how, you, that's how you do it. Okay. That's how I do it? That's logical. All right, I'll, I'll, that's the most logical way right, of explaining it. Okay. I'll give you another example where God appeared in the Old Testament. And Jews, God. Jews will attest to this. But a lot of people, some Jews are atheists, some Jews say... say yeah, I'm not talking about the atheist Jews. I'm talking about, the, the, some Jews, the, uh, about some, Judaism some, as a religion. Some Jews are, say things are metaphorical as well. Okay. Which one are you referring to? The three oh, men who came to... Uh, Abraham. No, I'm, I'm Which one are you going to go to? Jacob wrestled an angel all night. So what's that going to be with God? Because the angel was God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, so God actually wrestled with Jacob? Yes. yes. Have you, does that even make sense to you? Well, that's what, that's what the Bible no, says. No, no, does it make sense to you? Why not? Because you said an angel. Yes. Is it either an angel or is God? The Which one is the it? The angel said, I am God. The angel was God. Okay, God so the angel was God. Who, who won the wrestling match? Jacob won the rest of the match. And, and, and so yeah, 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 that's the story you're laughing this guy, about. This guy, just said, this guy just confirmed that God lost that with Jacob. Brother. Jacob is a creation of God yeah. and God is a yes. creator. Yeah. So does God even have the power to defeat his own Brother, creation? That's the story. That is the story. No, but does it make sense to you? Yes. Well, it's, 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 it makes sense to you, yeah, that God lost. Shall I, shall I give you the, the story? I know, I know that, I know. Yeah. But do you know why he lost? Why he lost? There's a reason for it. There was a reason for it. He's not, go on, go on. Tell you, me why he sometimes lost. Sometimes you, you play football with your child, child and let the child win, isn't it? You know. Tell me why he lost. Go on. I'm listening. Okay, I'm not... I'm not a, 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 a what do you call it? A priest or a scholar. Yeah, scholar. Well, you brought up the point. At least you should yeah. know the... Uh, yeah. the context of that particular passage. By the way, he does have a point. You know the, the term Israel? Yes. yes? That's what I'm getting to, brother. What is the meaning of Israel? Israel was, was, was given. No, no. To, to I know, Jews. I know. Jacob's name is Israel. Yes, exactly. His name yeah. is but what is the meaning of the term Israel? You know? I don't know that off the top of my head. means the one who struggled with God. That is the one who. Brother, you've answered my question for me. That is the, yeah, that but, the but ask a Jewish person, they don't take it as literally a God. 
That's yes. what I'm saying. Some do and some The angel represents God, doesn't yes. mean he's God. Yes, that's what, and, and that's where I'm coming. That's, okay, that's, that's, if you want to believe it, literally, that's up to you. That's that the perfect But it, it really, it really is demeaning. The, but that, of, that, that was how... You, you are putting God in a position which is A, uh, anthropomorphic. That means you're making God into a human being into some, some, something like a creation, yes, which is against God's nature because God in Malachi 3, 6 says he does not change his nature. God in Hosea chapter uh, 11, verse number 9 says that he's not a man. Yes? Brother, I'll give you the end of it. This is Genesis 32, 30, yeah? I know, I know, I know that story. I'm like, just, just for the cameras and, and for the other people. Okay. Yeah? Jacob realized what had happened. This is after the wrestling fight. I saw God face to face. This is what Jacob said. Yeah. He's 32. And yet, my life was spared. In the process, Jacob, the deceiver, received a new name, Israel, which likely means he struggles with God, like, yeah. like he just explained to me. So he even said that I saw God okay. face do you know, to face. Yeah, do you know there's another passage which says that if you see God, you die? Well, How do you reconcile that? Well, what passage is that? Google it. This is a well-known passage. Bro, I've admitted that to you that the Bible's contradictions. No, but, on but hold on. You know Allah says in the Quran that if this book is from anyone other than Allah, then surely it is not from Allah. Yes? It cannot, it cannot have so contradictions, there are no, there are no contradictions and none no in the Quran. In Quran. None. If I give you one, go on, give me one. Go on, give me one. I'll give you several, yeah. Give me one. Forget several. Give me one. And I'll give you, I'll give you two or three. Yeah? Okay, go on, go on. Yeah, give me a couple. If you give it, it's proof as a real. Yes. I will convert. Yeah. I don't want anyone to convert. No, 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 no. no, no. I will convert. No, don't convert. No, stay I will convert. convert. But stay, no, stay if this is wrong. All right, go on, go on. Give us, give us the contradiction that you think you have. What are you gonna do? If it's wrong and wrong. No, because I know, I know. Are you going to admit it? No, but, but if it's wrong, I'll admit it. Yeah, obviously, if I'm wrong, I'll admit, admit it. it. Yes, I'll admit it. You know, but you know, you, you know so many times you have, you, you have no Bible problem the Bible having contradictions, right? Because I said I follow Christ. No, but you don't. We just, I, I, have, I, have I just proved to you you I don't. I have a lot of problems with the Old Testament. No, no I, I, I proved to you from the New Testament yeah. that you do not follow Christ. And well, that's the reason well, I use the label well, Antichrist well, you for you. Words into my mouth, okay? No, I didn't. Okay, once again, is Jesus Unitarian or Trinitarian? No, listen. No, you said I put words in his mouth. Around, so go on. Circles, no, I'm yeah. not. You are the I, one I, who, are, who, are, who is in if, denial if now before, after showing you clear no, evidence from your own Bible, say, from the New Testament. Are, I'll take no, Christianity. Show us the okay. mistake. Show us the mistake. Okay. No, he, he said contradiction. Yeah, if there's is a the Bible God read? Hmm? Is the Bible God read? No, never. It's, 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 so it's, so, so the Bible, there was no Holy Spirit that was influencing them to write that down. The Old Testament was written by Moses, according to our... Written by Moses? Yes, written by Moses. Are you sure? Yes. Because in Deuteronomy, it talks about his... Yeah. Funeral. Yeah, it's written by Moses. How can a dead man write about his funeral? It's, it's written by Moses. That's he what he doesn't saying. care yeah. what the contradictions are. Oh. Who, who wrote the Old Testament? Uh, you follow. This is our. This is our. This is the beliefs. Yeah. It was revealed according to the Muslims. No, it was revealed no. to Moses. We don't know exactly who wrote it. Who yes. It Moses. could be the scribes. It could be someone else. Yes. It could be anyone from from his uh, uh, from his uh, disciples and so on. However, what you have to realize is that. If a book contains contradictions, it cannot be from God. Because exactly. God doesn't I'm make mistakes. I'm going to prove to you uh, the contradictions and, and uh, mistakes in the, in the Quran. Go on. Okay? Uh, Simple. Quran. Yeah? Firstly, yeah. does the Quran say that Alexander the Great went to where the sun sets? No, it doesn't. What do you say? <laughs> Simple. What's that? What's it doesn't. That? No, no, wait, wait. You, wait, wait. Just like the way I was able to show you contradictions, yeah. it is up to you now to show me which verse, which chapter yeah. says that. Because even the name Alexander the Great is not there. I think you're talking about Surat Al-Kahf, yes, which talks about Zulkarnain. And no one says Zulkarnain. Some the sun people. sets in a muddy spring. Yeah. What does that mean, sir? Read it. Read the verse. Read the verse. So we understand what it is. This is from Korah. Do you, do you appreciate Korah? The Torah? Korah. 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 Yeah, yeah, sure. But I want you to read the actual passage rather than just right. giving me yeah. some sort of. I said Jesus, I said Jesus about yeah, which, which, which surah? What surah is that? Do you know the surah? 18, chapter 18. 1886, yeah? It could yeah. be, yeah. Yeah, have you? Surah al Kahf. Yeah. Alright, this is it. This is, I'm going to read it. Read it, go on. Until he 86. reached the setting point yeah. of the sun. Yeah. Who is he? Oh, well, whoever he is. Yeah. Whatever he is. Yeah, well, it doesn't say who he is here. So but he just said Alexander. <laughs> so, oh, you, so, wait a minute. You're the one making the claim. Yeah. You have no idea about whom he's talking about. Exactly. You have no idea about the context. And you think you found a contradiction. That's Maybe you one, should. That's one. You know, you really that's should go one. home. No, but you haven't finished. I, 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 no, no, you, your claim is unfounded. But where is the sun? Where does the sun set? 
where, where, come on, where answer that. Alexander? Okay, where does the sun set? Yes. The sun sets, rises in the east, sets in the west. The sun doesn't set literally. It, so, it does not. Do you not understand the sun sets in the west? But it does not. So if you if you go to the newspaper today, look at the sunset time. If you go on your phone, it says sunset. That's but the sunset. yes, the, the sun. No, Alexander. It goes to the setting point of the sun. There's no points where the sun sets. Okay, ask Siri when does the sun Actually, there is points where the sun sets. There, 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 there is no. Point but he's not literal in the sense no that we are saying. Points. But we still say sunset. The the that's the that's, 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 that's what. That, that, that's a, that is a figure of speech. Exactly. So what you read is a figure of speech. Thank you very much. I rest my case. So the Quran is a figure of speech. In that case, yeah, it's a figure of speech, and it is actually from the it's from the perspective of Zulkarnain. So Zulkarnain is now. He's, he's, he's saying, I saw the sunset in the muddy water. Yeah. From his perspective, from his perspective. Yeah, from his perspective, perspective. wait a minute. Not it's, it's, it's like a poet. It's, it's like a poetic, poet who poetic, says poetic. there's a lake which is shining like a mirror. So that was a, that was that so was it's, it's a figure of speech. Figure of speech. It's a, like that. So it's not a contradiction. Next. So no, no, wait, wait. Let's see how many can bring. I'll give you that. I'm just gonna no, give no, you no, that. No, 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 no. No, don't just give me that. That is a fact. Now, when you translate or you read the translate of the Quran, do one thing. Bring Arabic grammar next to you as a person. Not me. Is that the true or not, for example? Yeah. Because we, I, am, I am Arab. I am in the grammar of the Arabic. No one can beat me. They used to tell me genius. Poetry number one. Our language, your language, African language, any language, if you, if you translate it from language to the other language, it will lose yeah. the meaning yeah. completely. And the message. Why, why, Do you why would it or not? Bro, let me speak to Hashim. Bro, I expect to respect that statement. No, but, but the, 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 the brother is right. There are two things you need to consider the language and the context. These two things are very important. If it's from God, it should be universal. The language should be. No, no. Are you saying God doesn't use metaphors? Is that what you're saying? God mon mon monolingual. No, no, wait. Is, does God use, what, what do you mean monolingual? monolingual. Why does he only, Who says God is monolingual? Because I think what he's trying, <laughs> brother's trying to say is that you can't appreciate it properly if you don't speak Arabic. No, but, 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 that's, but that's true. The real message of the Quran is in Arabic. That, that, that just promotes no, wait a minute. Arabic. Wait, wait, wait. You need to understand, you know when a prophet, brothers, brothers, one second. When a prophet, when the prophet and a messenger comes with a revelation, sorry, when a messenger comes with a revelation, yes, it is always in his language. Because imagine you're Chinese, yeah? And God gives you a, a, a message in a language other than Chinese. You only speak Chinese, you only know Chinese, and God gives you a language, say, in, uh, uh, I don't know, in uh, Greek. Yes? So where, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to me first. Try to understand the logic, understand be, your logic. behind you why God would reveal the Quran yes. to a messenger yes. who is an Arab in a language which is Arabic. Yes, okay, I understand. Yeah. Now, Good. I understand now you, you understood the logic? Yeah. Good. So do you logic. agree that God is not mon monolingual? According to you guys, he is because... Look, he's doing it again. No, no, no. You know, the guy doesn't understand person, logic. You really, you don't understand logic. No, 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 no. Guys, I respect so, you. So let me ask you this. Which language was the Torah in? The Torah yeah. was... Wait, wait, let's see, let's see. The Torah? Which yeah, which language? You don't even know which language? The language of the time. It's Hebrew. Hebrew, yeah. Okay, Hebrew. so is, is God only speaking Hebrew? Yeah, but when it's no, no, based on your no, logic, when, when, he's when, monolingual. No, the, the reason I bring up this argument, brother, is Richard, because, Richard, based on your logic yeah. and your understanding, what? God listen, is a monolingual listen, listen, who gives Moses listen, the message of the Torah only in Hebrew. Right, listen to why I said that in the first place. The reason why I said that is yeah. because this brother here, I know no disrespect to you, brother. He said to me that if you read the Quran, you can only understand it if you know Arabic. No, no, that's what he no, meant. No, 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 that's Bible not what he meant. Somebody which yeah. you that he should says, be irrelevant. No, no, irrelevant. wait a minute, wait a minute. He said, he said if you translate a language into another language, there are some things which are lost. Yeah, Which is, that's wrong. That shouldn't be in a book. Nothing no, no, but you should know that. How many languages do you speak? In a How many languages do you speak? Only English. Just Only English, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. If you were uh, even oh, bilingual, yes. yes, then you will understand that when you translate from one language to another, yes, it cannot have all the words, then, the other language, it's not fair, or... It's not fair for God to bring uh, a final book to one man uh, a certain, uh, 1,400 years ago. Yeah, in what language? In, in one language. Okay, same thing with Moses then. Exactly, but, but no. So you wait, no, wait, wait you're, bring, you're calling your own God? No, no <laughs> that I'm, is, I'm not that, saying that if I bring the Bible to you and you say the Bible says this, I'm not saying that you know, need to... Let me, let me ask you this. Why do the Jewish people, when they read the Bible, the, sorry, the Old Testament, the Tanakh, in Hebrew, understand it differently from you Trinitarians? Why? Same book, same book, understood completely different. Like, for example, where you see the prophecies of Jesus Christ, they don't. 
I'm, I'm just saying that it's, I don't Can like you this. answer my question I, before I, you go to another I, thing? I, I agree with your statement. Which statement do you agree with? The, the agree, the agree that, the, the blood that when you be, read a particular yes, language and you that. translate it into another language, could be lost. In, fact, in fact, even the same, the Messianic Jews, you know, yes. they, are, they understand Hebrew quite well. Yeah. But they see the prophecies of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. Exactly. The same people, yeah? Both of them Hebrew. They read the same so there are, are that is the reason. What did different I say earlier? Wait a minute. Do, do you remember different. what I said earlier, Richard? Two things are key. Not only the language, the language and the context. Both are important. The reason I, the reason I brought that up, um, Hashim, yeah, yeah. if you respect my reasoning, the reason I brought up that is that a lot of Muslims, not saying you've done that, yeah. but this, you insinuate that. If I say something in the Quran, if I bring out X, Y, Z. Use your own. If I bring out X, Y, Z, then they say, oh, you don't know the Arabic. Now, that is, a, that is seen as a get-out card by many people. That's all, that's my point I'm saying. Yeah, some people do use that. I, I agree with you, yeah. but I don't think he meant that. All right, yes. I'll, I'll give him the benefit okay, of the doubt. Okay, by the way, I think you're covering that yeah. camera. Yeah. All right. So, what, what, second, I'm, ask, what, I'm, asking, what yeah. I'm asking you to do is that, look at the context, and the language is also important. For example, what do you understand by the Son of God? The, the phrase, Son of God, what do you understand? Literal, figurative. But, oh, I think that's literal. But, you, you but, wait, wait. You, but you think... Jesus, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't run away from... Did he just say literal? Yes. Do you know what a literal son means? Yes. A begotten, biological son. Begotten, begotten for me. Yeah, a biological son. Yeah. So, so who was Jesus' biological father? God. Yeah, do you think God is like a human being? God can do anything. No, no. Is God like a human being? God is, is, is better than us. Do you know what biological God, means? Fact, yes. I'll, I'll is God that. a spirit or is he human? God according to language. you? Yes. Well, according to you, is God spirit? Is the Father spirit? Yes. Or is he flesh? He's free. He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I, I know what a Trinitarian yes. believes. Exactly. But I'm asking you, is the Father, even according to a Trinitarian, yes. is he flesh or is he spirit? He is God. He's, he's what, whatever he is. I'm asking his essence. Is he spirit or flesh? I've not seen him, but he is. I know you haven't seen him. Yes. Because if you did, you would die. Yes. Okay, so the question is, okay, let me ask you this way. Who died on the cross? The yes. Father, Son, or the Holy Spirit? The Son. Good. Yes. Is the Son the Father? Sorry? Is the Son the Father? Are they, no, are they the same? They are, they're, they're, they're in a triangle. They're, they're, they're triangle? In body. Yes, they're in a triangle. The Father, the Son, and the, and the Holy Spirit. That's what they're they're Okay, so the Father is not the Son, do you agree? The Father. Is the Father the Son? No, the, the Son is the Son, and the Father is the Father. Good. But they are both distinct, right? They're, dis they're, dis they're distinct in their roles. Okay. But they are one. One in what? One in body. <laughs> You're saying God has a body? In, 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 in metaphorical body, they're one in body. No, but you just told us earlier not to use metaphors. Now we're using a metaphor well, for God. Okay? Yes. So, so hold on, hold on. What do you mean metaphorical body? Like, for example, you, your father and your mother. Yes. Three people, right? Yes. You, you all have the same essence. You all are human. Yes. Yes? Are you one body? Metaphorically, you can be. No, but wait, 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 wait. You have your own body, for example, yes. your but father and your literally. mother have their own bodies. Brother Hashim, you're thinking literally there. Well, I have to, to understand no, it. It's not, it's not a literal statement. Okay, how are you, your literally. father and your mother, one? You're we're one, one? We're one family. Exactly, yes. exactly. So you're, yes. say, you're saying God we're, Almighty we're one, has a family. We're one entity. You know, the Hindus believe the similar thing. They have, they, yeah. And the Greek mythology, yeah, Indian, they believe... I'm not. Uh, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter what I'm by heritage, oh but what I'm saying is the religion of Hinduism, yes. they believe that God has family. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, and literally... The, Greeks, the Greeks also had the same belief. Yes. For example, Zeus, yes, yes he had uh, Hercules, whose yes. son, yes. 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 yes, and he had other sons as well. Yes. But this is the family of God. Yes. You know, Greeks, during the time of Jesus, believed in this pagan... Uh, what do you say, understanding of God having yes. a son and so on. Yeah. Now you see the connotation. When he says the son of God, how they interpreted the Hebrew, yes, Ben, Sh uh, ben, uh, ben Shaddai, yes, son of God, and how the Greeks, when they interpreted Hebrew to Greek, how they literally took it as son of God. I'll tell you the Christian belief in a nutshell, okay? The Christians believe that Jesus, God, and the, Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three in one. Three, three entities in one state. Okay? That's not in the Bible. That's from the church. It's from the fourth century. That's our, that's our, that's our belief. Yeah, but your belief is not based on right. Jesus' even, teaching. Even when we pray, we say, we say, um, God, our Father say? who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Blessed our sins and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Thy womb, the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. We say that in our prayer that Jesus came from God's womb, literally. 
God's womb. God's so not Mary's womb. Mary, no, sorry, Jesus was sent into Mary's womb. Yes, that, that, that's what we mean. Okay, so you believe God is biological? Jesus is bi biological. No, no, yes. is God the Father biological? Yes, God is everything. Yes. I, I don't think this guy even understands the term biological. Do you know what biological means? Biology. Not biology, biological father means like you I, 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 I basically, I'm the son of, I'm the father of, of X person. Yeah, yes. so you're the biological uh, yes. father of, 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 of your children. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, that's what you that mean. means you as a human being, yes. you have a flesh. Yes. So biology yeah. consists of flesh. Yes. Okay, body. Yes. Now, do you believe God, the yes. father has a body? Yes. I think you should read the Bible. Because Brother. God, according, in, according in, to the Bible, is spirit. He said, he said man was made in God's image. No, 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 no. We are oh, you God's take that literally? Wow. So you think... So let me ask you this. You think Adam actually looked like God the Father? Yes. In his appearance? Yes. Wow. This is next level. This is why he told the angels to pray to <laughs> Next pray level to Adam. Uh, heresy, why, you know? <laughs> why did he tell the angels to pray to Adam? Okay. You know, you, you have gone from tritheism to actually believing that God is biological uh, what, in appearance, like a man. He actually looks like a man. No, he's in, we're in his image. He's not, he's not a biological human being, but we, we, he's, we're created in his image. What about the woman? I know man was yeah, created. Man, man is plural. Man you, is man no, no. Plural. Do you think woman is in the image of uh, God? Man, man is plural, so it's man and woman. Okay. Let's open. Let's see what the Bible says. Remember, he said earlier, I, I go, I base my religion based on the New Testament and the teaching of Jesus. Okay. So let's re, let's open the Bible, First Corinthians 11, and we'll find out whether woman is in the image of man. God, sorry, in the image of God. Whether you understand. The Bible and the Old Testament better than Paul himself. Women came from, from us. No. To Is the woman in the image of God or not? Women came from man. That's why the word woman. So once again, the question. Is yes, the woman because, in the image because, of God? Because when we say mankind, we mean all of them. No, it isn't say mankind. It says no, man. Don't put language. words in the... In the English language. Yeah, I'm saying in when the English say, language. When we say yes. blessed be to all men, we don't just mean men okay, or Let's open women. Genesis 127. Men and women. Because you, you seem Old to be Genesis. now... But not only preaching it, something it, completely wrong. You're, 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 you're kind of running away from. I'm not. I'm actually bringing. <laughs> kind of because I, I'm giving here. you all the answers. Next week as well. Which, uh, which question did I run away from? I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving you your errors yet. Which question did I run away from? I'm loading up your errors yet. No, but but I'm asking you, which question did no, I run away no, from? No, you're kind of. I said you're kind of. Kind of. I'm, I'm yeah, not, which I'm, one? I'm not stating my errors I, yet. I really want to know which question I'm running away from. So error error number two, math. Dramatic error, okay? <laughs> you know Arabic grammar? <laughs> Did you do your homework before you came? This, this, this is common knowledge. Did you these care? errors. Was your homework? These errors are common knowledge. Is in your the homework done completely or you have more? Okay, okay. okay. So here it is. This, this no, no, wait, wait. Let me deal with uh, the part that you actually want to evade. So, First Corinthians. Yes. Yes. And most of my own wait, 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 wait a minute. System. Wait a minute. Your your system is not. It's against Jesus' system. That's for sure. That's your opinion. I, I proved it to you. You are a Trinitarian. Jesus is Unitarian. Very clear proof. You had no comeback on that. Which part? I disagree. So you disagree, I'm Jesus? A, I'm wait, a are you saying? Wait, wait. G, you said Jesus was the best example for mankind. Yeah, I'm not a scholar. But he's a Unitarian, no, no, and you are a Trinitarian. You're scholarly, yeah. So I'm not scholarly. I'm reading your Bible. No, no, I you, gave you the passage. You're, you're very, I gave you the you're, reference. You're better at the Bible than me. I have to admit. No, but you no, read the Bible yourself. Why? No, you're, you're better because you read the Bible more than me. You know okay? why? He's, very, he's, why? A, he's very good. Why? He's a very you know intelligent why? man. You know and why? I'm learning a lot from him today. Yeah? You know why? Uh, you know, I, because it's mentioned in our chapter, We challenge you by your book. Yeah, but we're, we have to challenge you by your book too, because you I'm, I'm, not, I'm not allowed you to. Can, okay, here it, here it is. Here it is. Earlier you said that both man and woman are created from, from in the image of God, I right? I said man, but man meaning plural, so okay. man and woman, both sexes. Both, right? So but, both. But women came from us, according to the Christian from that? From Adam, woman, man, it came from Adam's rib. Women came. From so Adam. once again, what is your final answer, My final answer to is, this question? Yes. Is man? Only in the image of God, or is it both man and woman? I said both sexes. Yeah, I told you man and woman. They are two sexes. You're right. Can you answer the question? That's my best. Yeah, that's what what is your What is your answer? I say uh, if it's a yes. Just no, man or both man yes, and woman? If it's a yes no question, I'm going to say both man and okay. woman. Let's I'm see what. Woman, so this is First Corinthians mm. chapter 11, verse number seven. Do you want to read it? In case you think that I'm making it up. Where is it? Seven to where? Seven. Just read from. Seven till. Uh, is it okay to hold your phone? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, no. Actually, yeah. Thanks for no, reminding no, 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 me. No it's Corona thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it says here, a man ought not to cover his head 
since he is the image and glory of God. See, that improves my point. Yes, wait till the but, next one. But, but the woman, the woman is, is the... Glory the... Of man. Yeah, but that, that proves my point as well. <laughs> Brother, we're, 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 we're nitpicking here. We're no, hairs, not nitpicking. We're okay, let's read again. That improves... Richard, Richard, let's, let's read again. It says here, man is in the image and glory of God, but the woman... Wait a minute, Richard. Wait a minute. Don't run away. Don't run away. Since a man ought not to cover his head, Okay, since he is in the image and glory of God, yes. but the woman is only in the glory of man. <laughs> so man is in the glory of God, woman is in the glory of? Of man, because man, women came second, isn't it? Eve was made from... So they're not equal, the man and woman. Okay, and only the man is in the image of God. You need to accept it. But I, I did tell you that first. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, you, you didn't. It's on camera. It's on camera. Guys, you asked me, yeah? That's God have an image. Okay, by the way, by the way, do you agree that a woman is not allowed to preach in the church? So I agree with that. Um, no, I, I disagree. Speak either. You disagree? Yeah. But that's in your Bible. Listen, like I said, the Bible, I don't follow it literally. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I don't follow oh, it even Bible metaphorically. Okay, okay. Is, is, a, is a woman allowed to preach in the church metaphorically? How, yes, would, how would she do that? Yes, she is. I really want to know. How would she do that? The, some of the how would somebody teach metaphorically? Some Tell of, me. Some of the best um, advocates of the Christianity today, 2020, are, are women. women. No, according what? to the Bible, is that allowed? Then you must have an objection yes, with the Bible. Yeah, I have, a, I have many objections with the Bible. Don't, I'm, I'm, so it cannot be God's word then? So how can you preach Either you don't respect God or you don't respect your Bible, no, one of them. God said in the New Testament, he said, what? the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So <laughs> What's Sabbath got to do with women preaching in the Sabbath church? Means rules, okay? Sabbath, Sabbath means rules, okay? Sabbath means rules. No, 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 no. The Sabbath, the, the, reason we said the that, Sabbath which is in the Ten I Commandments, no, can not I say, just rules. Can I, can I say the point yeah, why you said that? Okay. Why you said that was, Jesus lived amongst, in, Jesus was a Jew, he lived under hardcore Jewish law, and in hardcore Jewish law, on a Saturday, you're not allowed to, to work at all. If you worked, you're put down to death. One day Jesus walking by a river, saw fishermen working on a Saturday. Two Jewish shoulders went to, to take the fishers to death. Jesus mm -hmm. said, stop. And then he said, but the law says that you shouldn't, you, the Old Testament says that people shouldn't work on Saturdays um, um, or, or and we can put them to death. And then Jesus said, the Sabbath, the law was made for man, not man made for the law. Right. That's what he said. What does that so, mean? That means that even if the Bible says in the Old Testament, oh, women shouldn't preach. Oh, so, so basically you're telling me that the law which is in the Bible is yes. meant to be broken. Not meant to be broken, but it's... it's, 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 it's no, it's not invalid, bro. You don't need, it's, you don't need to follow it. It's there for us. Of course it's for it's you. It's for us. Yeah. Not, no, but we're not there to... We're not there because of the law. The law is that, oh, because the law says this, then, then that's it. Imagine the law, the Bible says terrible. The, the Bible so what is the point of God giving laws if you're meant to break it anyway? Law, laws are there. In, 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 in laws, Arabic, he's basically in, saying no, laws are meant to be broken. In, in Arabic, you have, a, you, have a say, you have a saying called Ishtihad, where laws can be... Ishtihad. Ishtihad, yes. You under, you, you, well, ishtihad sorry. is different so, meaning. So, exactly. So from mis mispronouncing. We have something called hukam, which is law, and we have ishtihad. Two what different that, things. Hukam is the law from Allah, which, which tells us what is halal what is haram oh, this is something which is obligatory yes. upon us yes to follow whereas istihad is something which is not clear yes. where, where you where the uh, the scholar uses yes. scholar uses his yeah. own knowledge yeah. from the Quran and Hadith yeah. it cannot be from outside yeah. to come to a conclusion and, and to make and to derive judgment from sorry the, to derive ruling from that Brother Hashim, the only thing that's spoken in our law is our Ten commandments anything else the Bible says is there for its time and context okay that's what is. That's okay, so let me get this right. Yes. Belief, belief, wait, 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 let me ask you this. Belief in Jesus' crucifixion is not necessary then, because not in the Ten Commandments. Am I right? Belief is not a law. Okay, so what is it? Belief is a belief. Oh, wait, 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 when you say law... Yeah, law is like, when I say law, I say law are instructions, like women cannot preach in church. Okay, can you, go to, can you go to paradise without believing in Jesus Christ's crucifixion? Can you be saved? I don't know. I'm not God. So what, do you, what is the thing that will actually take you away from salvation in the Bible, from what you know? From, from my, I'm talking about, I'm talking from my beliefs here. I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm a, asking you from your beliefs. I'm belief. not a theologian. I'm not a scholar. Neither am I. Okay. But I'm asking you based you on your belief, based, on your belief yeah. based on your belief, based on your understanding of your faith, based on your Christianity, yes. what is the thing I'm that will... I'm not condemning anyone. All no, I'm saying, not asking I'm, you to condemn I'm anyone. Christian. I'm asking you what will finally lead you to paradise through jesus that's what that's what the bible okay. says the so jesus says the only true god is the father yeah do you say the same 
Yes, and, and God. Jesus wait, wait, wait. Says, Let me hear that again. Jesus says, you say the only true God is the Father, right? The only way to the Father. The only way to the Father is through me. Yeah, yeah. I agree. All the prophets. No, no, no. Through are the way. No, no, no. no. At least you didn't even hear what I said. Every prophet, for example, if you were there in the time of Moses, yes, who was the way to God? But Jesus is the Messiah. Can I? Can you answer the question? When you, if you were there in the time of Moses, no, but Moses was at least let Moses, me finish the question. I know what you're say, bro. No, no, at I least let me finish the question and answer based on that. I'm gonna answer if you were there in the time of Moses and Moses was teaching you the Tanakh, yes, what was the way to salvation? Yes, thank you very much. Yes, it's, it's, I think they're going to close the park at six today. So, oh, that's a shame. See, you got yeah, seven more minutes, officer. So, mistakes. inshallah. Uh, see, listen, no, you guys no, jump. No, jump no, 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 wait, wait. So, every prophet, listen, listen. Every prophet, every, every prophet was the way to God. Every prophet was the way to God. Because if you did not believe in the teaching of that prophet in the time of Moses, for example, you wouldn't have salvation. You would be a disbeliever. I'll give you your mistakes in the Quran now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come Second on. mistake. Yeah. The Quran, my Quran right would be. Now, He's going to another mistake sure. without even finishing I'll the point. I'll 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 so my Quran with me. So I think I think we should we should end it because but, uh, I think when I, when I see you again, my name yeah. Richard, then I'll talk to you. Definitely, Brother, definitely. it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah. I'm Coronavirus. Be, I'm yeah. Be here next week. <laughs> All right. So so Richard, look look into Unitarianism. Look into Tawhid rather than. I'm not being combined. I love you, Muslims. No Trinity. Yeah. Any, That's a church paganism. Any, any, anything I say is not to, to demonize you. It's yeah. just, it's just a, a red and, yeah. and it's my opinion. Right? We believe, we, we, we go and we look for truth. Yeah. That's all we are concerned about. And okay? I'm going to bring you those mistakes. That I'm just ashamed I couldn't. Okay. Sure, make sure you find the context. Yeah, Jazakallah khairan for your time, brothers and sisters, for listening. But yeah, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have um, a lot of conversations at Speaker's Corner. And uh, today was... Uh, a conversation with uh, someone who's a Christian. I think they are telling us to go. All right, so anyway, just to cut this short, so we want to aim for Tawheed, we want to aim for belief in one God, and this belief in one God is something which is of primary importance in all the faiths which are monotheistic. Yes, so when you say Abrahamic faith, belief, uh, sorry, the, the religion of Abraham, the religion of Moses, of Jacob, of uh, David, Solomon belief in of Jesus himself of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu all of them they believed in the oneness of God so they did not divide God into father son holy spirit or any other trinity or any other multiple divisions of the persons of the god of the godhead this is something which is a later uh, what do you say teaching a late, uh, something that Jesus did not teach which none of the prophets of the bible or the quran ever taught this so what the Christians keep insisting is that of the Trinity, like, like that uh, brother we were just speaking to Richard, he insisted in the Trinity, even though he did not find a single passage from the Bible, which confirms the Trinity. They would actually reject even Jesus' testimony and Jesus' teaching that Jesus himself as the best example during his time for, man, for mankind, they would even reject his own teaching because of this doct indoctrination of the Trinity that they have from the church. So they put the church's teaching about Jesus' teaching. When Jesus himself says in the, uh, sorry, in the Bible that if you love me, you will follow my teaching. Very simple, very clear. So Jesus at no point advocated a trinity. Similarly, in the Quran, Allah says in chapter 4, 171, that Jesus is someone who is a messenger of God. He's a, he's a prof, uh, Messiah of God. He's not a son of God. He's not like the guy who's saying he's a literal son of God and so on. That's completely rubbish. In fact, even the, the Christians wouldn't actually believe in such, um, uh, in such a heresy where they believe that Jesus is the literal son of God. These are metaphoric terms. For example, the Jewish people used to use these terms to refer to people who were righteous. So any righteous person, for example, Adam is called the son of God in Luke chapter 3, verse 38. Yes, very clear. There are many people, and so on from that. Many people are actually referred to as sons of God, children of God, so on. These are references to show the people who are righteous in their belief. That's all it means. It doesn't mean anything to do with literal Son of God and so on. Now, we, when we read the Quran, we see that Allah has ex revealed his, uh, his own attributes and His uh, names in the Quran. And He tells us about Himself, about certain attributes and certain um, uh, uh, d uh, references and definitions about Him. Like, for example, Allah says, Laysa kamithli shayan. This is so clear, you know, in a small, very small ayah. It says very clear that Allah is unlike anything. So anything means 
you can think of, anything you can perceive, anything you have seen, anything you can observe, everything is unlike Allah, except Allah Himself is unique. With regards to Surah, uh, Surah Al Ikhlas, which I quoted in the, um, uh, during the uh, discussion we had, it's very clear again. In a small, uh, what do you say, Surah, Allah explains to us exactly who He is, how He's defined Himself, that He's one. He's independent, that he's, uh, he, has, uh, he doesn't beget, he's not begotten, he has no children, he has no parents. Yes, and he's unique in his being. Alhamdulillah, see, very clear. We don't have to go into this word gymnastics, find out the context uh, into depth about exegesis and so on. There are certain things which are self-explanatory in the Quran. There are other things which do require extra explanation. But things which are about Allah and his oneness, there's no doubt about it, that Allah is the one who is Ahad. Whenever the term Ahad is used with Allah, it is meaning he's a monad, which means he's indivisible. He's the one, he's the one unique, very clear, alhamdulillah. So we don't have this, what do you say, uh, different understandings of what God is saying when he says he's Ahad, he's one. And the Jewish people also believe a very similar uh, thing. They don't believe in a, in a God who is three and he comes down as a human being and then he has a wrestling with, uh, with Jacob and so on, and then he gets defeated by God. I mean, this is all completely against or blasphemous to God Almighty. So Alhamdulillah, ala ni'matil Islam, and uh, Jazakallah khairan, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.